They say Bernie Sanders for the first time is polling higher than Joe Biden. Uh, uh, clap, he's not gonna win. Like, none of them. You know why? Because all the, this is what the Democrats haven't figured out yet. The Democrats still haven't figured out that, they, that they're running against a lunatic. Trump is crazy. He's crazy. You're not gonna be crazy with logic. Every debate that I've seen the Democrats do, they all logical. Don't nobody give a damn about logic. <laughs> Oh, if I am president, I will make sure that the policies and the... <laughs> Trump said if you re-elect him, he will cure AIDS and cancer. <laughs> and cancer. The AIDS ain't that big a deal. Well, motherfucker, I'm gonna throw in that cancer for free. <laughs> You're not gonna beat somebody like that on logic. The only thing be crazy is crazy. You have to run on a lie. That's the brilliant thing that Trump does. He just lies and runs on it and he wins. The only thing beat a lie is better. Like right now, if I was a Democrat and I was running against Trump, the, the, my only campaign point would be that my wall would be better than his wall. That's it. I wouldn't talk about shit else at the debates. You'd ask me questions, I wouldn't know the answer because I'm talking about my wall. <laughs> Mr. Wood, how do you feel about healthcare? Man, I don't know nothing about healthcare, but let me tell you about my wall. <laughs> it's gonna have missiles and machine guns, <laughs> thermal sight and 50 cal round, unloading on everybody. And I have shirts, call myself Missile Man. I have merch. <laughs> be a picture of me sitting on the missile. That's, that's pretty much. And that's all I would talk about. And I would obliterate every Democrat running. I would obliterate them in the primaries because I got a damn missile wall. <laughs> and now I'm head to head against Trump. Now I'm head to head against Trump. And now if you're a Trump supporter and you're a racist, now you got a real decision to make. Because <laughs> you hate black people. But you love missiles. You love them. <laughs> and that's how you turn those votes. I win, I get elected, I put my hand on the Bible, and you solemnly swear to promise you in America. And then I turn to the crowd after I take my hand off the Bible, and I go, ain't no wall, bitch. Come on in, Mexicans. <laughs> Run on the lie. It's too many Democrats anyway. We gotta chop this down about 12. <laughs> 2025. Yo, if it's gonna be this many people running for office, you gotta split them into conferences. So. That's the only reason I know all the football teams, because they split them into conferences and then they chop them down into divisions. Do the same thing with the Democrats. It's 2025 of them, that's enough for East West Division, and then split them up the blacks, the olds. I don't know, the, the gays. I, I don't know what. The, uh, we'll work on the names of the divisions. But you get the base idea of what I'm saying. <laughs> Are we still blaming video games for mass shootings or was that just last week's thing? <laughs> We're all for that now? We're back to video games are good? Okay, cool. <laughs> people say video games are violent. I don't know about that, man. I know people that don't even like you to play Street Fighter, which to me is the most peaceful of all the video games. Like, of all the violent video games, Street Fighter is the best one. Nobody dies in Street Fighter. It's not Mortal Kombat. You ain't ripping somebody's spine and they heart out their chest. You get your ass whooped in Street Fighter, then you get life advice. <laughs> it's the only video game that gives you advice. You get your ass whooped, and then the dude who whooped your ass look you in the face and go, go home and be a family man. <laughs> you gotta respect that. Plus, if you played Street Fighter, it was a brilliant game. This game was just so bare bones basic. Two strangers meet in a public place <laughs> and just whoop each other's ass. <laughs> there's no journey, there's no quest, there's no person, there's no princess to rescue in the castle. It's just two dudes at a fish market. Uh, hey, I heard you was talking shit. <laughs> Would you like to fight? Yes, I would. You want to come back tonight when it's closed? No, let's fight right now during normal business hours. Because that's the crazy shit about Street Fighter is that if you never played Street Fighter, in the background, commerce is happening. It's people throwing fireballs at each other. And in the background, it's just people in a fish market. And they're just behind them. Yeah, let me get the catfish nuggets. 
And uh, I get some of them crab legs too. <laughs> you know what, bag that up to go. I'm gonna get that to go. They, they throw in the fireballs again. important life lessons taught in Street Fighter. The lesson in Street Fighter never came from the people fighting. The life lesson in Street Fighter came from the people in the background. No matter what's going on around you in this world, mind your goddamn business. And maybe you'll get home safely.